Hello, my name is Frank Silverman. I'm the Executive Director of the Martial Arts Industry Association. And today, in three minutes or less, I want to share with you some information that I just did with some school owners about actually opening their second and third school. But this information is very important for people who are looking to open up their second, third, or, or more schools. But also, a lot of people watching these videos also are looking to open up their very first school that are just entering our industry in the uh, professional capacity other than student or instructor. So, also, if you're looking at moving your school, I think you might find this information very interesting as well. And the topic is, is how do I find a location? Well, as we all heard before, it's location, location, location. But I've come up with four things that we look for in Orlando when opening up a location. And I'm gonna give you some direct experience because I have a location we're looking at actually in a suburb about 30 minutes away from Orlando. And we look for four things. One, we try and understand the household income of the area. Two, we try and understand how many rooftops or how many homes are actually there. And when I mean rooftops, we, we look at both how many houses and how many apartments. Next thing we look for is how many elementary schools there are in an area. And finally, we try to understand where the grocery store is or the grocery anchor is because we prefer to be in that grocery store. Now, the next question is, you may say, how do I get all of this information? Well, there's all kinds of sites that you can pay a small fee to get to, but really working backwards on my list, simply find the major grocery store in the area if you simply call them up and say you're interested in leasing, then they usually have all that information for you other than maybe the elementary school, which you're able to do by Googling elementary schools in your area. So once we get that information, much like I did here in this packet, then we try understanding what that information tells us. And driving home from, from an appointment one day, I pulled off to this little suburb, um, it, it's called Clarecona, Florida, and I found the major grocery store. And I drove around the immediate area, and I was like, wow, this is, is great. This is, it's a Publix, we call it a Publix shopping center, I love that. And the homes right around it seem to be very upscale, higher income looking community. So I called and, and I got the demographics from the leasing agent at the shopping center. And what I was amazed to find out was on these demographics, there's less than 300 homes in the area, 300 rooftops. They're just building the area and that was in the one mile radius. So I must have, when I drove around, found the only little pocket of homes. So I didn't like that all of a sudden. Next thing I found out, in the one mile radius, the average household income is about $75,000, which I really like that, but then I realized there's only 300, 350 homes in that area. So when I went out to the three and five mile radius, I found that actually the household income drops well below $50,000. And so it's kind of like a rebuilding community. So from that information, just because I looked at it and it looked great right there, I realized maybe it wasn't so great. So we take these four pieces of information. Number one, household income. We wanna be in the higher household income range. Why? Well, it just makes sense that if you have the option of opening a school and selling martial arts lessons for $150 a month or $100 a month to people that are making $75,000 a year or to people that are making $20,000 a year, you have the luxury of picking the better household income area. Two, not everybody in the world wants to do martial arts. So when I'm fishing in the pool, do I want to fish in the pool with 300 fish or do I want to fish in the pool with 3,000 fish? At the end of the day, only a small percentage is gonna take martial arts from us anyway, so go fishing in the big pool. How many rooftops are there? If there's not enough homes to support your school, your school won't work, no matter how much the household income is. You can live in a million dollar household income area, but if there's only 10 homes, it's not enough people. The next thing is, I'd like to know how many elementary schools, because most schools, that's their primary focus. If you're an MMA school, you want to, may want to know what high schools are there or colleges are there, but for most of us, we want to know elementary schools, and I want to know that there's an elementary school close by, because that will tell me that the community has children. And finally, I like the grocery anchor, because it's just easier for people to shop 
closer to or go to martial arts closer to where they shop if i can be in that uh, actual shopping center all the better but i want to focus my location around that so those are the four things i hope that helps you with your future school your current school or expanding your schools